very first thing to do here is to produce uh, a horizontal line. Yeah, a horizontal line. Okay, after that horizontal line, we need to produce the perpendicular to that horizontal line. Alright, so here comes the perpendicular. Alright, after that, the very next thing is to measure mark of 12 mm. Yeah, from this bottom here. Mark of 12 mm, which is this. Okay, from that mark of 12 mm, I'm going to also project it horizontally. Okay. After that, the next thing is to actually draw an angle here. Yeah. Angle 30 degree to the vertical axis. That is 60 degree to the horizontal. 30 degree to the vertical axis. Yeah, from the bottom here. Yeah. From the bottom here. Yeah. Okay. Then angle. 30 degrees to the vertical axis on this plane also. On the bottom there. Okay. So after doing that, the next procedure is this. The next procedure is this. From this mark of 12, I am going to measure 25 mm upwards because the two circles at the base here are circle of radius 25 and diameter 50. Okay, so on that mark of 25, I'm going to project it horizontally. Okay, I'm projecting it horizontally. After doing that, the next thing is to pick my compass and measure radius 25 on my ruler to produce the two base shape radius 25. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, and the second one on this mark here. Okay. After doing that, I'm going to pick my ruler and what and join the midpoints all together. Okay, so that area is set. So the next thing to do is this. the next thing to do is this. we have theory uh circles here, theory circles here. But before that, the internal circle here, the three, the old grid here are of diameter 22, radius 11. Let's do that also before you proceed. Okay, with radius 11, I draw on the first point here. Then with radius 11, I draw on the second point here. Okay, after doing that, the three circles at the top here. Yeah, the three circles at the top here. I will told that uh, from this area, yeah, radius of what 95. That's the first thing you need to do. So with your compass, pick radius 95. Pick radius 95 with your compass. Okay, with radius 95 from the bottom here, yeah, from this junction here, we strike an arc. Okay. So at the point of this arc, we produce our three uh, circles. We produce our three circles. But before that, we project uh, the points. Yeah, where the circle touches this line, we project them what horizontally. Okay, after projecting them horizontally, so the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, pick the radius of that circle, which is uh, radius 12.5. The diameter is 25. Radius 12.5. Okay, I'm drawing for the first one now. Okay, then for the second point here. And for the third point here. Okay, we are told that the drill inside it are of diameter 12, which is for radio short, radio 6. The drill are of radio 6. So with your compass, measure radio 6. Okay, on the first mark here, radio 6. On the second mark here, then for the third mark, radio six. Okay. After doing that, what's next? The next thing is to get that bigger circle that's actually on this plane. And we are told that the angle, yeah, the angle where that circle is projected is angle what? Angle 15 degrees. So what am I going to do? Since I'm having angle 30 degree, I'm going to bisect this angle 30 to get my angle 15 degrees. So I'm bisecting this angle 30 now. Alright, so on this first point here. And on this second point here. Okay. Then I'm going to what? Draw this through. Okay, as it is now, the angle from here to here is 15 and here to here is 15. So an arc of radius 128, yeah, cut across this line of angle 50 degree. That is where that circle at the top is going to sit. Okay. So with your compass, measure radius 128. 
okay this is 128 radiation 22 i draw okay and this is where the radiation 28 touches uh the line of angle 15 degrees so from that junction of uh radiation 28 striking the line of angle 15 degree draw a circle yeah of diameter 32 radius 16. so this is circle of that radius 16 diameter 32. okay and the drill inside it is diameter 16 radius 8 with your compass measure radius 8 and draw okay that's it so the next thing is we draw the tangent tangential curves yeah the tangential curves all right let's start from here downward okay so the curve out here is an external arc which operates under the principle of what of addition okay so and the radius for this arc is what is 22 okay so 22 plus 16 yeah the radius for this bigger circle is what 16 so 22 plus 16 that is what that is 38 so with your compass measure radius 38 okay so with radius 38 place the compass at the main point here and strike the first arc okay so 22 plus uh the radius for this is what is 12.5 so 22 plus 12.5 that is what that is 34.5 so with your compass measure radius 34.5 okay with radius 34.5 place it here and what and strike okay so this is the what this is the point of intersection from this point of intersection measure radius 22 and draw the what draw the external arc radius 22 okay we do radius 22 we draw from the point of intersection here all right okay next is the arc here the arc here all right so the radius for the arc here is radius 32 and the the, the radius for this smaller circle is 12.5 so 32 plus 12.5 is what is 44.5 44.5 so with your compass measure radius 44.5 with radius 44.5 place your compass here all right and strike that was the first arc all right so 32 plus this circle is diameter 50 radius 25 so 32 plus 25 that's what that is 57 with your compass measure radius 57 this radius 57 then i'm going to work i'm going to work i'm going to strike so this is the point of intersection here this junction is point of intersection so from this point of intersection measure radius 32 and draw the what draw the external arc okay with radius 32 place it at the point of intersection then from the point of intersection and what and draw okay that's it okay so let's get the curve here yeah the curve here so the tangential curve here is also an external arc it's also an external arc and the radius for it is radius 35 radius 35 okay starting from here the radius of this area is what 12.5 so 12.5 plus 35 is what that is 47.5 47.5 so with your compass measure radius 47.5 with radius 47.5 i strike the first arc here okay strike the first arc here so with the same 35 plus radius 25 here that's what that's 60 with your compass measure radius 60 then with radius 60 placing your compass here you draw your what you draw the second arc so this is the point of intersection here okay right here is the point of intersection now measure radius 35 and draw the external arc okay so with radius 35 coming to the point of intersection here i draw yeah i draw all right so that area is also set is also set okay so let's draw the tangential curve here also let's draw the tangential curve here we are told that the radius of the tangential curve here is what radius 25 and the radius for these two circles are what are 12.5 so 12.5 plus 25 that is 37.5 with your compass measure radius 37.5 with radius 37.5 place the compass here all right draw the first arc this way then with the same 37.5 place it here and what and draw the second arc this way after doing that we measure radius what radius 25 and we draw our external arc okay so with our radius 25 we place it at the point of intersection which is here all right and what and we draw our arc okay so after drawing that let's draw the arc here so the arc here is also what is also an external arc and the radius is what radius 32 so so 32 plus 25 is what that's 57 okay with your compass measure radius 57 with radius 57 place the compass at the center of this circle and what and draw okay, okay so by the time we draw these are point of intersection here these are point of intersection so with your compass measure radius 32 so with radius 32 we place it at the point of intersection and we what and we draw 
Okay, so this area is also what is also set. So let's draw the arc here. The arc here is also an external arc, an external arc. Okay, and the radius for the arc is what is 32. So 32 plus 12.5 is what with radius 44.5. Place your compass right here and what and strike. Okay, so 32 plus 25 is what is 60 is what is 57. So with your compass, measure radius 57. With radius 57, place your compass at the midpoint here, then what? Then draw. Okay, after drawing that, these are point of what? Point of intersection. From this point of intersection, measure radius 32 and draw the what? External arc. Okay, with radius 32, from this point of intersection, I draw my what? Okay, after that has been done, next for is to get this area, to get this area. So, the arc that actually moves from here to here, placing our compass here. Okay, we get that by placing our compass here, then extending it to this point right here, which is here. So, extending it to the top of our circle here, then we draw, we draw. So, we draw, okay? Let's make it thin. Let's make it thin for now. We draw. Okay, after doing that, the curve that connects this arc here to this circle here is radius 32. Okay, so and remember the radius for this particular circle here is radius 16. So 32 plus 16 is what is 48. Measure 48. We use addition because it is an external arc with radius 48. From this junction, I strike my first arc. Okay, I strike my first arc. All right, so using the first principle of tangency, which is principle of joining a curve to a straight line. Okay, I am going to measure radius 32 now. Radius 32. So with my radius 32, I'm going to place the compass at this area here, okay? From this area, I'm going to draw, draw the corresponding arc. Draw the corresponding arc. So this is the point of what? Point of intersection. From this point of intersection, with that same radius 32, I am going to draw the tangential curve here, which is this, okay? After drawing that, then I am going to come back here, pick my compass, extend this to this point, which I picked earlier on, then what? Then redraw. I'm going to retrace it out bold, boldly. Okay, so that is the solution to that particular question. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.